Mendel used a painstaking method for fertilizing his plants, transferring pollen from the male part of one plant to the female part of another. Oh, you're castrating it. Absolutely. So then we go to the other flower, yeah. which, is over which, here. which is a red one. Pull that off. Pull it off. Yep. God, yep. It's not very kind, is it, this, oh. this sex business? No, it's rough and ready. Here we go. Right. And this is how Mendel did it, is it? Yes, same techniques, really. Right. So this time we use the style of this one, which has already got pollen on it, yeah. and we use it as a paintbrush. You apply it. That's it. Sex in peas. And there we and are. That's it. That's it. Mendel's research was incredibly thorough. Over 10 years, he studied more than 20,000 plants and kept detailed records. He bred generation after generation of peas, and he looked at how the various characteristics cropped up. Eventually, he noticed a consistent and remarkable pattern. What Mendel discovered was really weird. He took an absolutely true breeding red flowered pea. He'd bred it for generations and it was always red. And he took also a true breeding white flowered pea. And then he deliberately crossed these. And what he got was only red peas. It looked as if the, the white had been lost. But he didn't give up there. He let these ones self fertilize. And in the next generation, well, it began to look as if the white had been lost. But then, up popped the white again. And he bred thousands of them, and he got consistently a three to one ratio of red to white. Mendel had discovered a fundamental law of inheritance. When plants breed, each parent passes on a, a factor, a set of instructions for creating every one of the offspring's physical characteristics. Only one of these factors is activated, but the other factor lies dormant and can reappear in later generations. 